Now, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, on the 13th episode on Dark Gathering. Now, I gotta say that uh, it, it was just so fortunate on what happened to my video on the last episode because the image of the anime didn't show. And for that, I am truly, 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 uh, didn't know that that was happening. And uh, for that, I'm going to keep an eye on the image in the screen itself so that that doesn't happen again. The last episode was, it was good. It was really, really good, guys. It was very good. And as much as it is that damn good, this is just the beginning phase of this S rank mission. Because they just fought the first S rank uh, deity, or let me say ghost. And that monk graduate was so messed up and very dangerous that if it wasn't the fact that Yayo and Kirito worked together, oh, sorry, Kietaro worked together to bound him again, it would have been a problem for both of them. I don't think there's a place that will ever be a place that they will hide that hand that will bound that hand from coming out again. Even if they dig a hole and bury it, still, I don't think it will be enough. They should just burn that then or crush it in a crushing machine and just get rid of it once and for all. They should just destroy that arm. They're gonna hit up a place just as bad as the last episode. Really? I think you're entraced. Is Echo on something here that Kyotaro likes this kind of situation? I don't think so. Why am I getting evil vibe from Echo all of a sudden? Why is this? Why am I? Why? Why is Echo looking so sinister? Or why? Am I... <laughs> Oh, is she actually saying the truth, but in a sinister looking way? You know what I mean? Oh. 
Who is this guy? What if easy? Who is this guy? So These guys have their own mission as well. They are looking for their arm. They want to bring forth its spirit. Wait, isn't that the spirit, the thing that took Yayo's mother? What a feasy. What is that? This is terrible, man. Man, I hope you guys are feeling what I'm feeling right now because this is... Spectra of Dead. What the feasy? Damn, that didn't look like countless of 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 spirit combined in one, and it turns out to be a giant spiritual woman that is carrying those things in her body, in her stomach. That is messed up, man. But you know what though? That intrigues me more about this show and what we're about to expect, the things we're about to expect. Uh, somehow, some way, I feel like they shouldn't bring Echo here. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't think it's a good idea bringing Echo here. I feel like she's gonna slow them down. Until I see otherwise, I think she's going to do nothing but slow them down. So they're gonna start hunting another graduate.
So, Yayo and Eko has actually been doing this kind of job for quite some time. It's not evil, but it's dangerous. Hmm, this is dangerous. In order for them to grab him, they're gonna make sure he has control over the other spirits that are clinging on to him. Because if he, if he doesn't have full control of them, so em emancipate, so this spirit it's pretty much you're getting one spirit but in return you're getting the spirit and it's hundreds of soldiers that clings onto him so in actuality they are picking a graduate that has soldiers Naruhodo. Kochi, kochi, kochi. I feel like, yeah, I hear that too. What intonation now? Is that a doll? A mannequin. Something is eating at it. You guys see teats, bite marks, or something. Television turning on in the middle of nowhere with no power. Oh, these are the soldiers. They're zombies, like. This is this, this this anime is going to another level, man. You gotta be a fan. That, you gotta be someone that likes spiritual or scary movies to to really be watching this. View distraction. View discretion is advised right now. Mm, they already Nani The spirit went inside Kyutaro, one of them.
because this those soldiers are from like world war one or world war two battles What the hell? He's fighting with zombies, but at the same time. He finished the bottle of water he has. Yeah, you see, I said it in the beginning. Is that salt? There's more of them now. Did she pour salt around them? They are all being drawn to Kitaro. Maybe that's who they should be attacking, maybe. The mannequin itself. Hmm? You better keep running, girl. Sweet! Got it. They captured it. That was a close one. That was really, really close one. Because what would have happened or could have happened is they could have teared Kyotoro inside out. They, they could have teared his body to pieces but then again didn't yeah you said that is she's gonna negotiate with the uh, spirit to lend her a hand every now and then
Why do I feel like this is not over yet? I saw that. I saw that. Is it only me or is Aiko a little sinister looking sometimes? Am I the only one that feels this? Don't you? Like sometimes there's this sinister look on her face. Like there is something else controlling her somehow, but haven't really, really manifested itself fully. Oh man, it's done already? Oh my goodness, I am so caught up in this show right now that I just won the next episode like seconds ago, you know? But what I will say is um, this is actually an interesting show. Like I said before, if you are a person who likes scary movies and scary animes this anime is for you but if you're not down with the scary spooky stuff don't even try because view distraction or discretion is advised i mean it's not that scary scary but sometimes they do it does do spooky things that are like you know it's not that scary really really but you know depending on the level of you know scare or horror you can take i guess that depends on everybody to me you know it seems all right it seems okay it's not it's scary sometimes but sometimes you know if you can handle it you can handle it if you can't handle it then you know it is what it is but it's actually a nice, good show. Okay, preview on the next episode, episode 14. So on their next mission, they're going to run into a woman. Now... It's going to be interesting to see if that woman is going to be a friend or a foe, ladies and gentlemen. Whichever one she's going to be, I guess we will find out on the next episode. But the show, it just keeps getting better. Keeps getting better each and every time, you know. And they always come in so close to getting possessed so much that they will lose their sanity or their senses or... There is a lot of close calls, you know, when they go to these uh, spirit capturing or spirit hunting or S rank mission uh, that they're doing. That you're like, man, you know, even sometimes, yeah, yo, even though she is good at what she does, sometimes she doesn't know it all. And I guess if you guys noticed earlier, I said that I don't think that it's a good idea to bring Echo in this mission. But she ended up proving herself, actually, because if it wasn't for her, I don't think Yayo, Yayo would have eventually figured out what to do. But by the time she does figure it out, Kietaro might have been in a worse situation by the time uh, Yayo figures it out. Because while Kietaro was being, you know, freaking out because they, these spirits are now inside him, kind of about to burst out of his stomach or out of his body, you know, if it wasn't the fact that Eko was able to think fast and figure out what to do and put herself in danger, going all the way to where the mannequin is and taking out the graduate itself and tossing it over to uh, Yayo, 
you know, I, I I think she. I guess they need her on this mission. Then I think I, I would say that I, I take I take back what I said earlier, but the show continues to get better, and I'm looking to see three of them continue to go in this mission. It just that sometimes I feel like Echo, uh, my, I felt like Echo was weakened was the weak one, but in actuality, she's not the one that the ghost goes after most of the time. Most of the time, the ghost goes after Kietaro. He is the one that, that is always drawing ghosts to him, which is the reason why they need him, which is the reason why he is the pinnacle of this group, because he's the one that draws the enemy to them instead of them having to seek the enemy out. Once they get to where the enemy is, they're always going after Kietaru because there's something about him that makes Ghost want to, you know, mess with him or want to possess him or want to do something bad to him. And Echo herself felt that she saw some weird image. I saw it, and I know you guys saw it. Now, they keep giving this sinister look on Echo sometimes. Sometimes she speaks in a sinister way. She has a sinister look. She has this sinister aura for some reason. I don't know what it is, whether she's playing or whether she's being serious. That I do not know. But we will soon find out soon enough as we go deeper into the show. So thank you guys for joining me. On that note, stay safe. Keep on keeping on. And see you guys in the next video.